All right, welcome to the uh, tutorial for creating a unikernel on Amazon Web Services. Today we're going to deploy a Node.js web server. Um, to get started, you need two things uh, besides ops, the tool, of course. You need a uh, AWS account and you need to create an S3 bucket. So uh, to get started, let's just show what the AWS stuff is. This is my AWS config. It's, you can use whatever and then you'll want to put your AWS credentials in here. You probably already have them if you've been using AWS at all uh, on this machine. Um, but uh, follow along in the tutorial to know exactly what to put there. And afterwards you can do uh, this command, this color identity command, and it will tell you whether or not your cred credentials are actually uh, present. All right, so now that we got that out of the way and we create an S3 bucket, um, I'll show you what the config.json looks like. We only have two files here, config.json and hi.js. So we pop open config.json, project ID can be whatever, um, zone, we're just gonna use US West one, use whatever zone you want to use, um, bucket name, uh, I created nanos test. Um, however, you can't use this because it's unique. <laughs> so, so create your own S3 bucket and stick it in there. The web service that we're going to deploy is the most simple Node.js web server we can deploy. All it simply does is listen on uh, port 80 and then serves up hello world to it. So pretty basic. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's create the image first. This is the thing that takes the longest. So we'll do config JSON P uh, for package node v 1150 All right, so what's going on here is that it'll create our disk image, upload it to S3, then it takes a snapshot of the image in S3 and creates an AMI out of it. And that AMI is the actual end artifact that we um, use to launch our instances. Now this is gonna take a couple of minutes, so we'll uh, fast forward the video and come back once it's done. Okay, so it looks like it went ahead and created the image we can do an ops image list, specify AWS, US West 1. And you can see the new image is in there. Now I've been creating a few of these images. Um, by default, when we create the instance, it's just going to use the last created one, which it looks like it was, uh, looks like it was this one. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and create an instance. We'll do ops instance create. Uh, dash T AWS U um, Z US West one, and then we'll specify node image. As you can see, this process is pretty quick. First off, it creates the security group, um, and then by default, the security group just opens up AD and 443 and attaches it to the instance. It assumes kind of a web server. You can do whatever you wish, though. Uh, if we do ops instance list t aws p prod three z us west one we list our instances we can now see that we have a uh, instance running here and it's uh, listening on this IP so let's just go ahead and give it a spin here. And there it goes. So it took a second to kind of come up, but now it's up and running. All right, well, this was your first uh, Unikernel deployed to Amazon uh, using Node.js. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.